Stop it! Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Uh, welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. All right, let's get right to this, okay? Listen, you guys. Um... You know, it's real difficult to really talk about certain things, especially when you know um, that what what the end game is. And for those of y'all who are smart enough to know history or even care about history, then you know that every great empire has a time to rule and a time to fall from the Great Britain to France to all of them. You remember the sun never sets on the British Empire. Look at it now. Okay, my point being this. What we have, you know, we're supposed to have a two-party system, or you know, basically, so they say. Um uh and I always contended that they were both two wings on the same bird. Okay. However, what I'm finding, uh, you know, controversial about that is the fact that I knew and grew up with and had friends that were Republicans and have friends that are Republican. And this is not the Republican Party. Shout out to you, Gerard Randall, uh, Dorothy Parks, <laughs> Andrea Parks. Uh, the parches. I mean, I, I grew up with a lot of Republicans when I began to really uh, unpack that thing. And I saw that this is not the Republican Party. This is a party that is being ruled by hatred. This is a party that is ruled by um, somebody's trying to take my rights. Uh, black and brown uh, voter suppression. Uh a party of QAnon, a party of just a bunch of uh, pretty much m m madness because everything I see in the um, the diagnostic statistical manual in terms of mental illness, and we start talking about the cluster B personalities. You know, the cluster B is the narcissistic personality disorder, the borderline personality disorder. Uh, they... Uh, um, there's a few of them that fall under the cluster B. So, so they, you know, the way they do this, and I'm not saying that this is ah be all end all. In fact, it's all European jargon. But if we were to use it as a gauge and as a standard for what we're talking about right now, then you would have to admit that the Republican Party at this point, whoever these people are that are representing themselves as a Republican Party are actually white supremacists who are mentally ill. All they do is project and lie. Project and lie. And it's actually so insane that um it's it's they are taking whatever it's like somebody taking whatever you say and turn it upside down. And when we talk about the sickness of, of, of uh, narcissism and the constant lying and the gaslighting and the projection. That is what the re this so-called Republican Party has morphed itself into on a real, real hard level. Um, and I can't say that I'm with the Democrats because remember, the Democrats, the Democrats used to be what the Republicans are. Straight up racist. So that's why I came up with that, you know, two wings on the same bird. They just flip scripts. But you got, when we start talking about, and the reason why I'm making this video right here, when you start talking about this Marjorie Green person who they stripped of her committees and whatnot, um, I really believe that this lady is a mentally ill. Anytime you have a person that is elected to the Senate, and I'm just thinking about the constituents, the people that elected her, okay, to go around chasing people and confronting them on streets, and you think that that is the way to 
actually engage in a conversation with somebody? Because if you come up on me like that, trying to engage in a conversation, you know, because I already know what the ramifications will be. If I punched you in the face, then I will have one of my goons do it. Somebody that would take the rap for it. You understand what I'm saying? Because you would be following me around talking crazy to me and just think it's going to, it's going to be all good. It's going to be nice. <laughs> it ain't going to be so nice like that. And I'm not one to hear somebody say, I, I advocate for violence, but I do believe in shutting that shit down when it gets too crazy. And if you are in a position where you feel like you're going to follow me around in and out of places, screaming at me about some stuff that is just really insane. Why do you support Black Lives Matter? Do you know that's a terrorist group? Do you know that's ter I'll be looking over at my people and I'll be like and I still wouldn't say a word. Okay? So my point being, this Marjorie Green that's running around this is straight out of a, a Cluster B playbook. This, these, these disorders, these personalities that these people are having, that they, cause, and people are jumping up talking, I'm a Republican. You are really showing me just how crazy you are, how mad you are, how full of hatred you are. And that's no way to represent humanity at all. At all. And you are so afraid that what's going to happen to you once black and brown people get in power that you have now gone crazy and this is turning to a cesspool. It's already been a cesspool. Okay. But now it's just the most grimiest cesspool because you got people like I mean I mean you got people like this Marjorie Green person that runs around accosting people, uh, uh, uh confronting them and, and nobody got a problem with that. Not her constituents. You can't do anything talking about because you put her off of the committees. And the only thing people seem to be concerned about is that she raised $3 million in a quarter. And that's because money is their God. But if you are genuinely a, the, the person that God intended for you to be, that the universe, because the universe didn't make no mistakes. Remember now, we, we are Frankenstein monsters. We were placed over here. So the mindset that we have is the offshoot of the European who's everybody, everybody that slept with us and got their milk all in us. So there's some of your, if you think like that, that means a lot of that thought process that's unrubbed off on you. Some of us are still refused. No matter if you got that vaccine in you or not, like that white man vaccine. Some of us refuse to let it overpower our Afro Afrocentricness, and I'm one of them because I know the O'Neills were all in me. I see my freckles. I'm sure y'all see them too. So there was an old Irishman named O'Neill in there someplace, but I don't represent for uh, him at all. But I represent what is inhumanity in the O'Neills, because obviously I wouldn't be here if those people hadn't passed across my path, no matter how I, what uh, that experience was, okay? So what I'm saying is, who in their right mind really wants Trump to be president? Who in their right mind so, and then when you think about all this cesspool of madness, you got a Matt Gates, who is charged, or not charged yet, because he hasn't been indicted or anything, I take that back, who's just associated with this Greenberg dude that trafficking children, um, using his office in there in Florida um, to uh, rip steel and do all kinds of mayhem. Then you got a, a man like Matt Gates who already got away with the drunk driving stuff. And now they're saying that he was she's trafficking teenagers, a teenage girl that was 17, doing cocaine with these people. And how come all these Trump supporters are really 
immoral people. You got Donald Trump, who's good friend with Jeffrey Epstein. What the hell is that? Jeffrey Epstein, everybody, y'all just put him in jail for uh, trafficking children, molesting children. Donald Trump is on tape talking about this is his friend. He parties with him. And now y'all and y'all turning a blind eye to this. This is not a Republican Party. This is a cult. And those of y'all who don't know the difference, I feel sorry for you. Because that cult is going to get you killed. The cult is going to take away any resemblance of critical thinking that you may possibly have. You can't have it. You're a functionary puppet. Again, y'all help me out because I, I need to know y'all opinion about this. Is it me? This this is can't be any kind of party of humanity that you making this lady Marjorie Green all that because she raised three million dollars, but she's running up and down the street acting like a nutcase. And y'all like that type of stuff. Who are these people? This party is ruled by hatred. I got to know what y'all, my family think about it. I mean, because when I think about Donald Trump, it all equals Jerry Epstein. They even party together. Again, party together. And you got Donald Trump on tape talking about, oh, he likes the girls a little younger than I do, huh? And they both high as hell. Y'all see it. And y'all voted this person in president? In, okay, so what that goes to show me, there's a hidden hand at play in operation. And it doesn't matter if you are a sex trafficker, um, if you use cocaine and you use cocaine with 17-year-olds or people that you call over on the taxpayer's dime to have sex and do cocaine and write it off, or you all these things that represent a cluster B personality disorder person is what we're beginning to see now in the Republican Party. This Jim Jordan, he's involved with some kind of molestation up at Ohio State. What the hell? <laughs> is it me? Why am I straight? Because I don't understand. Maybe I should... Never mind. Because... Cause somebody help me, help me with it. I'm gonna leave right now so y'all can leave your comments, and we're gonna discuss this. Is the Republican Party a party ruled by hatred? And do you see in your life a difference in the Republican Party that the Republican that you might have grew up with? Because, like I said, I grew up with Republicans, and I got some that are my friends. I consider them friends. But this right here. I ain't never seen nothing like it. Tell me what you think. Leave your comments below. I'm going to see you in the next video.